Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here, and <clears throat> it is Saturday the 20th, yes, Saturday, May 20th, 2017, and I am getting ready to literally go to, what store, should I just go to Walmart? Walmart's closer. I'm getting ready to go to Walmart to get a box of hair dye, because I want to dye my hair black. My hair is really, really brown. And I'm the kind of person that when I'm in the sun, my skin gets darker and my hair gets lighter naturally all on its own. And it's it's getting too brown for me, especially on the ends. And I'm a huge fan of really dark black hair. So as of right now, my plan is to go get a box of black hair dye. When I get there and I see things, you know, it, it, you know, we'll see what color I end up truly getting. But I'm also interested in like, I love blue black. I love like deep, 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 deep purple colors, like a sangria color. I'm not opposed to that, but I'm not really interested in lightening my hair any. Not for me, not my real hair. I'm interested in like blonde wigs and things like that, but I... Personally, don't want to alter my hair that's attached to my head in that way. So as light as I would go is like a deep purple. I'm trying to think of find something around me that is a deep purple color. Uh, like really would only look purple in the sun. I've had my hair that color before when I was like 14 or 15. Like it only really looks purple in the sun, but it looks black in natural light. And that was beautiful. I loved when my hair was that color. It was gorgeous. So that's the only things I'm interested in. Blue, black, or very deep blue color, black, or deep purple. So I'm going to the stove, to Walmart, to get a box of dye. But I wanted to put something on my face because I don't, I don't know, I feel like doing my makeup and kind of like testing out a few new products that I recently purchased. So we're going to do a very simple, quick, easy look. And I'm going to try out some new makeup techniques that I've been seeing other people do. So... My face is already washed. I've already toned it and applied my dark spot corrector. And now we're going to apply primer. And I'm gonna mix two primers. I'm gonna try this technique that I've been seeing people do where they mix their mattifying primer and their like pore minimizing primer. And I'm gonna kind of cheat since I'm not really too concerned about my pores. I'm more concerned about being matte because I have such oily skin. So I'm gonna mix the Milani Prime Shield face primer, mattifying and pore minimizing with my Boots Number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Makeup Face. I'm gonna mix them together and then apply that to my face. Let's start with the Boots. Put a little bit on my finger that much oh and I want to talk to you guys about how I've downsized on my foundations I've getting gotten getting I've gotten rid of so many of my foundations my sister was just here and I think I gave her six foundations or so to take back home with her and now all of my foundations and primers fit in one basket the Milani one, I'm like almost out of. I'm having to really squeeze it out. Oh gosh, and it just shot out all over the floor. All right, so I've got those two on my fingertips. I'm mixing them together on my fingertips before I apply them to my face. And you can instantly see things happening with my skin. Like my skin is already more matte and smoothed. At first I was like sweeping and now I'm kind of pressing. Wow, the consistency is really weird with those two mixed together. One is more of like a cream and the other one's more silicone-y feeling. But they're on there and hopefully they work. I won't even have this foundation on for that long really. This makeup look. Another thing I did is I shaved my face for the first time. Uh, my face isn't super hairy, but like on the sides of my face right here, I did have hair that you could visibly see up close. And then I get long stray ones on my chin. Hereditary. I'm going to go ahead and throw this away because it's empty. 
I just need to stop trying to hold on to stuff until it's like I use every little bit up if it's not going to come out. So we have primer. Oh, I want to show you guys my basket. This is my basket of foundations and primers. I just have this one basket. All of them fit in here. And I also have a couple powders in here, which makes me really proud because I am trying to downsize and just use up what I have and narrow down my foundations to the ones that actually work and are worth spending money on because I've spent a lot of money on foundations that just don't really work for me. And this one might be one of them, but I want to try it out with this primer trick, this primer combination. I'm also considering putting the powder on my face, like setting my primers before I go on with this foundation to see if that helps as well. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to shake, shake. I can't speak today. Take this black opal deluxe finishing powder. It's supposed to be like a translucent kind of powder. And I'm not gonna shake anywhere. I'm just gonna use what's on the top of the sifter, the little bit that's on the top. And a lot of people use like a puff to press their powders in. I'm gonna use my powder brush. I'm just gonna press this powder over the face lightly to set my primers. Like I said, I'm not going to pour out any additional product. I'm just going to use what's in the cap and what is already like on the top of the product to do so. I don't even know if there's really any powder left in here to try and do what I'm trying to do with this. Maybe my face looks a little bit more matte. I might just put a little bit more just so that it looks how people look. You can actually see the powder when a lot of people try this technique. So I'm just going to put out just a little bit more and really focus on my T-zone area. Like my forehead, my nose, sides of my nose. Chin gets really oily nowadays. There we go. So now you can see that powder. My eyelids. Really just kind of put it in that area. Those areas. And now we're going to go in with the foundation. I'm going to be using the, excuse me guys, I've been sick. I have allergies. This week has just been not good. So yeah, I'm kind of sick, kind of congested, but I'm pushing through. Got some coffee here to help me wake up. I literally haven't gotten out of bed all day. I've just been relaxing. We're going to use the Black Opal Stick Foundation in the shade Ebony. Looks like that. I've done a review on this. It is a little bit dark for my skin, but I've gotten a tan since I've last used it. So now it might match perfectly. And I love stick foundations because they're super fast and easy to apply. And this one blends really well. And the price of this one is wonderful. It's only $25. And there's a lot of shades. I am going to go over my eyelids as well. I'm just drawing this on. And you can barely see it because it blends pretty well into my skin. It's not too red. I feel like it really is true. Like almost a perfect shade match for me. So I just drew that all over. As you can see. And now we're going to blend it out with a brush. I'm going to be using the, no, I don't want to use this one. Let's use the, is this the one? No, that's not the one I want to use either. I can't find the brush I want to use. Where is it hiding? Oh, it's over here. I'm going to use the e.l.f. foundation blur brush. To blend this out. I'm just going to buff it into the skin. As you can see, it blends out really easily. And this foundation is supposed to be good for people that have oily skin, but it's not very long lasting on me. It hasn't been, I should say. 
So I'm trying to give it another chance. Literally, I'm just going to Walmart and coming back. So we'll see how it holds up throughout my hair dyeing session and me working on my teacher induction portfolio. Those are my only plans for today. I really like the way it's going on the skin though. Now that I've shaved my face, I used to be able to like see the hairs like moving as I would blend. Everybody has that like peach fuzz hair on their face and I just decided I'm gonna shave it off. I also purchased a new phone yesterday. I ordered a new iPhone 7, the red one, the special edition red one that helps raise money to do research on HIV AIDS. Because my phone is literally like, it's gonna die soon. Like it's being really crazy and ridiculous. So yes, this foundation, as you can see, is a little bit darker than uh, the rest of me, which I'm kind of not feeling, but we're gonna set it with a powder to help bring it back. So I guess what if I go in the sun more, this will be a perfect shade for me, but as of right now, it's still too deep, that's okay. I really like the way the foundation looks, so it has a very nice natural finish to it. It's really pretty. And the coverage is medium to full, I feel. I can still see my birthmark a little bit over here, but it's covered up like all my dark spots and stuff, but my birthmark, I can still see it shining through just a little bit. That's on my forehead. Okay, let's set this with some powder. And I think I'm going to use this L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powder. It's 700 Classic Tan, which is way lighter than I am, and it's very yellow toned, so it will help to make this foundation go with my body a little bit better. Which on camera doesn't look that bad, but in person I can see that it's too dark. So I'm going to use that same brush from earlier, this e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to press this powder on top of this foundation all over. Again, this is a L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powder in 700 Classic Tan. The foundation is the Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the shade ebony so that's what I'm wearing on my face this powder really helps to mattify and it is helping to kind of correct the color of the foundation you can see one half is done on camera it looks super ashy but in person now it matches my neck perfectly I do think this is a good foundation for people that like a super natural look and like don't like a super matte look because this foundation does not come off matte on my skin. Like I said, it has a natural finish to it. It's actually luminous, more luminous on my skin. But since I'm so oily, I like more mattifying products, more mattifying foundations. Making sure to really press under the eyes and just set where I get oily, right next to my nose, the chin, anywhere that I might crease, like my forehead sometimes creases with some foundations, and the corners of my mouth. All right, so now my face is set. It's nice and even and smooth and flawless, as you can see. This foundation really is really pretty. And now we're going to go in and add highlighter and maybe a little bit of bronzer. We're going to do a really simple, easy look. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal, not L'Oreal. Goodness gracious, I cannot speak today right now. I'm going to be going in with the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Kit to highlight and to 
do some sort of contouring kind of. You'll see. So it's gonna be like a really kind of effortless, easygoing sort of look. So first I'm gonna go in with the contour color and this brush from Coastal Sense, I believe. I'm just loading that up with my brush. And I'm gonna start to apply this to the hollows of my cheek. With this brush. I really like this shade because it's not too, too, too dark and it looks really, really good. I haven't contoured in so long either. But to me this is like a brontour because it's a little red tone, but it looks really good with my skin. So y'all can see that right there. I'm also gonna take the same powder and put a little bit on the sides of my nose. Man, do you guys watch The Fosters? I love that show and I don't have, I have basic, basic cable, so I can't watch it on my TV, but I just finished season four, episode 20, which I think is probably the end of season four on Netflix this morning afternoon and oh my goodness it ended so well i am in love with that show it's just it's just so interesting because the family like you know the two lesbian moms and they're all their adopted children and the, you know the twins and just the twins parents are still alive and the whole dynamic of the show and the one of the moms was married to a man before and just their children. It's just it's just an interesting show. Each character I feel like is so different, which makes me want to watch it even more. I'm also gonna apply some of this to my forehead area. I'm gonna go across the top. Not really gonna go down on the temples, but really across the top of my entire forehead because I have a big forehead and bringing it down kind of halfway to try and make my forehead look somewhat smaller. You can see if you're wondering what I have on this is like a nightgown that I found at this place I think called tender hearts which is like a um, a, uh, a thrift store that raises money for I think women wounded women or like not wounded women but thinking of wounded warriors look can you tell my mind is just not working today it raises money for women that are victims of domestic and sexual abuse and violence. And I found it for like a dollar, dollar fifty with my cousin one day when she came to visit me while I was in college. I don't know how we ended up there. Anyways, I love it. Sometimes I wear it like as a nightgown, which is what I've been wearing it as today slash last night. And sometimes I'll belt it and like wear it as a dress because it is really pretty. I love the print of it. It's really loose and big. So it looks like really boho chic. It is really pretty. I love the print. I love the colors of it. And if I didn't have the chance of like seeing my students at this Walmart, I might just go out like this with no bra. But yeah, I'm not taking those chances because of where I live. I could run into students and parents. The chances are very high. So we can't be out here in the streets like that. Because they will talk about you. I saw Miss Ishman and she was looking. <laughs> no, we're not going to have that. I don't know why I just put this away because I still need to highlight. So now we're going to go into the highlighter that's in here. It's over here. I need to get another one of these. As you can see, I've hit pan on all of the shades. Go into the highlighter with this e.l.f. complexion brush. And I like to use this for the days when I want more of a... softer highlight that isn't as powerful and intense because this really diffuses the product and blends as you apply it 
So it's a lot quicker, a lot faster, a lot easier, and a lot more natural looking in my opinion. So that's why I like using this brush. And it's just quick, it's really quick as you can see. So we have our highlight. We are contoured slash bronzed. I already did the bridge of my nose. Now I'm just gonna do the brow bone just a little bit. That area. Like so. Oh, keep as well. The only thing about doing it this way is that it is harder to get like a place like your keep as well with accuracy. It's just kind of be, going to be all over your lip, which I'm cool with. I don't mind that. All right, so now we are highlighted, we're contoured, and everything is still looking quite natural. But, of course, I'm going to go back with the brush I used to apply my all-over face powder, and I just blend everything together. Just kind of blend over the top of everything and just make sure that it looks good. So now that our base is done, we can move on to brows. For my brows, I like to use the Wet n Wild Retractable Eyeliner Pencil. But yeah. Back to shaving my face. Can you tell my brain is like jumping all over the place? I've already shown you how I've reduced my foundations and, and uh, primers to that one little container, which is what I hope to keep it at. I don't want to have any more than that basket. And then I told you guys that I shaved my face and it really just helps your makeup go on smoother, which I feel like it has today. It just helps your makeup go on smoother. That's the reason that I did it and I was kind of bored and I was curious. So yeah. I already shaved like my chin because like I said I get long hairs there. It's hereditary. My mom gets them so now I'm getting them. But yeah. I really like the way my makeup is looking. And this foundation is beautiful. Just look at it. It looks so natural in person. It looks like it's really just my skin. Like it's so pretty. But it's just not long lasting on me. But we'll see with the primers and the setting with the powder first and then setting with the powder again. We'll see how long lasting it is. Right now I'm really loving the way my skin looks. Now on to the brows. <laughs> I'm more of a natural brow kind of girl. I don't do all that concealing and sharpening them up and all that type of stuff. And you can still see the hairs quite easily with this pencil. My brow hair. So I feel like my brows tend to look very natural in person. On camera they come off kind of harsh, but in person they look more natural. And I follow my natural shape. But yeah, I'm going to be testing it out. A new lip product. I'm not sure what color I want to wear. And I've already tried out two. So, so, so this is, I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on. So this is also going to be kind of a review on some new lippies. That you guys have seen if you've watched my most recent breakup makeup haul. My Walgreens haul. Which, in that video, I forgot to tell you about my experience. Basically, when I walked in there, like, everyone was so obsessed with my eyeshadow. That's when I had the space buns and the, like, rainbow unicorn mermaid-inspired eyeshadow. And, like, the lady at the makeup counter was like, let me get my manager. He needs to see this. And then, like, they were all just, like, obsessing over my eyeshadow and my makeup. 
And then they were talking about how they're going to be getting Knicks in that Walgreens, particular Walgreens. And they're like, you look like such a Knicks girl. You look like a Knicks girl. You're going to love Knicks. And I was like, actually, I'm wearing some Knicks on my face right now. Some NYX on my face. And so they were just like really excited. It was just really funny because um, it was an older lady, like old enough to be my grandma type lady that was working in the beauty section at the beauty counter. And then it was like this. Um, well, I don't want to label him, her, him, her. I don't know if it was like a, a trans man or, um, I don't, I don't know, you know, another person that was, I'm, I'm pretty sure he identifies as a man. Um, lots of piercings and all that. You know, I love piercings. I have my face, I have my little girl, my nose ring. I'm not against piercings or I'm not against people that are trans either, but like, I'm just trying to describe the person to you. Another person who doesn't wear makeup but was just like so excited into what I had on my face. Like it was just two people that I wouldn't expect to take such interest in me. And the lady looked like she was either white or Hispanic. And the man, he was also white. So it was like, I'm just like the lone black person in this Walgreens because of where I live with this old lady and this dude just like all up in my face like attacking me but then I had, one was on each side of me so I was really like pinned in the aisle and they were talking to me about my makeup but it was a fun experience it wasn't a negative experience at all it was just funny it was slightly awkward but it was hilarious like to look back on so that was my experience at that Walgreens and it makes me want to go back because I like want to see them again like be like hey what's up you know what do you guys think about this look because it was so funny. They were like so excited. They were more excited than I was. But I am excited that they're getting NYX. So that's, that was exciting news for them to tell me about that. But I feel like I'm like one of the first people to know too. Because there's no sign like on the outside like NYX is coming or anything like that. So. But yeah. That was my experience there. Wait, why was I talking about that? Oh, so I hauled a whole bunch of lip products in that video, which I'm going to be testing out another one of those and giving you my opinions on the few that I've tried. All right, so I'm done with my brows. One is a little bit more pointy than the other one, but I really like the way that came out today. This color is in, I believe, black brown. So it's not as dark as the black I was using. And with my hair being brown like it is now, it looks fine. But after I dye my hair black, which is my plan right now, whatever color I dye it, I might need to go a little bit deeper. Back to the black one, the black retractable liner. Or sometimes I will, <clears throat> to deepen up my brows, go over them with a old mascara, like this black radiance. I appeal mascara and it's really old so I just like comb through the hairs and with a little bit of mascara that's still left in here it will deepen up my brow hairs a little bit which makes my brows look a little bit darker and it holds the hairs in place too it's really nice my brows really came out really good today as y'all can see but I like a more natural brow look I'm not all about that concealer life and carving them out and I just feel like it's too much it looks good on some people but it's just too much for me to be doing ever to be honest and I have tried it before and it does make a difference but like I said it's just not for me all right so the brows are done we can move on to eyes and lips I'm gonna keep my look very simple I don't have any true new like eye palettes or like anything like that except for my Meat Matte Trimony palette, which I've been loving. I love this palette. They're all matte shadows, so I think we're gonna use that today. I'm just gonna keep my eyes really simple, or I could go to an oldie but a goodie. This palette normally retails for forty two dollars, but I got it for fourteen ninety seven, aka fifteen dollars, and I'm really excited about it because I really like it. I'm really liking the way that my foundation is looking now. It looks really nice. It looks really 
natural, which is what I was going for. <clears throat> Can't wait to dye my hair. <clears throat> I'm really excited. <clears throat> I hope this foundation lasts because I might do this again. Because it really does look so nice in person. Can't wait to take pictures with it on. Even though my hair looks ratchet right now. Alright, so this is the palette. That's what it looks like. It has a great mirror. These are all matte shadows, as you can see. And we're going to go in with my favorite shade in here, which is one right in the middle. Matte Kumar. It's like a reddish brown color. Beautiful. We're just going to apply that all over the lid because your girl's lazy. And this brush kind of has the shimmer shadow on it, so it's coming off a little shimmery, but that's okay. I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. Baby, baby. Yeah, you can tell my brain is like all over the place. But yeah, I told you. Oh yeah, I ordered a new phone. I'm excited about that. And I like started my own plan, so I will be switching from Sprint to Verizon. I loved Sprint until I moved to where I'm at. Like my phone literally does not work. My calls always drop. Nobody can ever hear me. I feel like I might as well just be deaf having Sprint down here because I hear every other word and I don't know what people are saying to me. And it's just really annoying. And I have to like constantly like apologize to people like, just want you to know the call major and then the call drops like as soon as people call me I'm like okay I'm on this back road like I live in the country the call major the call has dropped and then they try and call back and it's like hello hello can you hear me can you hear me yes I can hear you. and then the call drops again I'm just I'm done okay and everyone down here I'm like what service do you have like Verizon 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 I'm like well how's your phone with they like have no issues whatsoever and like also it was like I was always roaming and like I couldn't have access to any like data like it was just terrible. My sprint just works terrible where I live at so I'm gonna be on Verizon now or I am on Verizon now. My phone should be here Wednesday. Like I said I got the iPhone 7. 128 gigabytes because your girl needs storage because she likes to take a lot of selfies and videos and just screenshot things. Like I love quotes. I love scriptures. I love I love keeping things i'm really bad at that i'm not a hoarder but i like to hold on to things i'm still just like blending out this one shade using the same brush all over the lid and let's just take the same color on the bottom lash line using the same brush It's gonna be a really simple, easy, natural summer makeup look. I've been really into one eyeshadow, two eyeshadow looks, like really simple or really dramatic and crazy and colorful. Which tomorrow I think I'm gonna do a purple look because I've really been feeling purple as of late, the color of royalty. And it's my mother's favorite color. It's my second favorite color. All right, so we have our shadow on. So to go onto the lid again, make sure it's nice and opaque. And kind of do a little bit more blending. There we go. So we're done with this palette. I just stuck my finger into a black eyeshadow. We're done with this palette. I'm going to go back to my highlighter and highlight my inner corners of my eyes. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I've been back and forth with whether or not I truly like it or not. So I'm using the same highlighter from the Black Radiance Contour Palette, which I need to buy another one. And we're just going to highlight the inner corners with this little brush from Coastal Sense, I believe. Put it right in the tear duct area. Jump jiving, then you well you gotta jump jiving. I can't remember all the words, I think those are the words. I don't know why that song is coming into my head and 
I don't know. I really miss that professor a lot. I miss that class a lot. That was one of the best parts of my college experiences, or my college experience. Goodness gracious, was singing in the jazz voices, uh, jazz choir, like jazz pop choir in college. It was so much fun. It was a blast. And I loved Dr. Imler. He was our conductor. Now he's on the board of trustees for my university, my alum. Nye, oh my alum, alum. Y'all, my brain is just not here. All right, so that's it for eyeshadow. We're just gonna apply mascara. <laughs> yeah. I'm not drunk, I promise. I'm drinking coffee. It's only 2.36 in the afternoon. I really love the way my eyes look. I feel like this this reddish color is just so pretty for summer. It's so simple, like just a single eyeshadow and then highlight the inner corners with gold. Load your my lashes up. I've heard to say load your mashes up. Load your lashes up with mascara, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And I'm just gonna apply that to my upper and lower lashes. And I'm not gonna get super close for this because I don't want to mess it up and I'm kind of rushing just because I don't want this video to be super duper long. In all truth, you could probably do this look in 20 minutes. It's really simple. One eyeshadow, like I don't do any highlighting with concealer or anything like that. <clears throat> and to me, I don't feel like my face looks flat and like non-dimensional. I feel like it still has dimension because I add highlight to my face so that brings certain features forward and I did a little bit of the contour and broadening so that helped to define my face a little bit more and I might actually start doing that on a daily basis now that school is winding down and I'm about to be free for the summer but I'm gonna be working so I just I'm a workaholic I I really am workaholic and I have goals in life. Like I want to have half of all my loans, my student loans paid off in five years. That is my goal. And so I might have to get another side hustle during the school year to make that happen. Just because I don't like being in debt. I hate debt. The only debt I want to have is to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for him dying on the cross for me. That's the only debt I want to have. And I work daily to try and pay that back to me, even though, you know, we can never repay. But you know what I mean if you're a Christian. You know what I'm trying to say. So that is my financial goal. I also want to have, like, I would like to have, like, five digits saved up in the bank in the next 10 years while also trying to pay off my loans. I'm going to try to have them paid off in nine years or eight and a half years instead of the 10-year plan that I'm on. Just... You know, the sooner the better. And luckily, praise God for my dad. My father is paying off one of the one loans. I have two different ones. I have a private loan and then all of my ones from the government. I'm paying the government ones. My dad is paying off the private loan. As of right now, until I can take it over. So, you know, I'm working on things. I also want to go on one trip a year. So I have a lot of things that I want to do. So I have to... Spend my money accordingly and save accordingly so I can make these things happen. Like next year, next summer, I am going to Arizona, but I also want to go from Arizona and fly to Hawaii for a week or two weeks to visit my middle school best friends that I have not seen except Naziha in years. Like since we were 14, I haven't seen them and I, I like I miss them and I miss Hawaii. That's my home. That's where I consider myself to be from. And I really just want to return back to the island and return to Eva and just reconnect with that part of my cultural identity. Okay. 
speaking of Arizona, I need to get in touch with my SAI sister so we can figure out our our situation, like where we're going to stay. We're thinking about getting an Airbnb and just like going to Mount Rushmore, Mushmore. I cannot speak. Is it Mount Rushmore or is it the Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon is Arizona. Mount Rushmore is not in Arizona, is it? That's why I'm a music teacher, not geography, social studies. Anyways, we want to experience other things besides our triennial convention while we're in Arizona, which is why we don't want to stay in the hotel that the convention has already like reserved for this event. But we're going to be in Tuscan, Arizona. I've never been to Arizona and I know that Brosia lives there and she's like one of my favorite YouTubers. I think she's so beautiful like uh she's so gorgeous she's just she's one of my favorites and she just had a baby i'm not saying i like try to meet her or like stalk her but it just makes me happy to know that i'm in the state that she lives in maybe we will run into each other but anyways yeah so i have goals and things that i want to do with my life um and traveling is one of those things. Like I really do try to go on one trip a year, at least one trip a year, to see someone that has played a significant role in my life. So like last year, December, right after I graduated, I went to Portland to see Hannah, which is my Korean American best friend from high school in Kansas. The year before that, I went to DC to see Naziha, who is my middle school best friend that I met in Hawaii. <clears throat> so this year I might go see the rest of my best friends from middle school that still live in Hawaii and I'm just really excited I need to let them know that next summer in July don't go anywhere take a couple days off work because Sharice is coming back to see y'all and we're gonna turn up and Hawaii turn up is so different than like mainland turn up so I'm really excited to go back and just to just take in that nature again, like, I just miss it. And I miss them more than anything else. I miss my friends because I said it's been years. So like, it's going to be, what, 10 years since I've seen them. Yeah, I'm still applying mascara, y'all. Probably like, this girl has been applying mascara for a long time. But yeah, I don't do false lashes, so I really have to enhance my natural lashes by adding coats and coats and coats with mascara. But this mascara works great. Love. So that's the eye look, really simple, really easy, really effortless. And my skin is kind of glowy. I'm really liking the way it looks. It's almost, it, when I have glowy skin, it kind of makes me uncomfortable because like I said, I'm really oily, but I think it's really beautiful. But my concern is like, how long is it going to look glowy before I look like oil slick, like grease ball? So I'm just going to blot kind of with this powder brush in the center of my face. See that I already changed it and I like it a lot better. All right, lips. So the lip products I kind of want to review for you all. If I can breathe through my nose, they're all from... I think all of the colors are from Jordana, if I'm not mistaken. I need to find a couple of the other ones. I did not get super organized before recording, but you already know that's kind of how I roll. All right, so. Where are they? Well, let me get my school bag. I think they're in my school bag still. Okay. Yes. So let's start with the two Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lip Colors that I've tried. I've only tried two colors and they're kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, op opposite ends of the spectrum, which is a good thing. I have this really light one over here. It's like a nude-ish color. You can see against my, my skin and it's beautiful and it's called Tiramisu. Love this one. To me, it's opaque, like it doesn't, it's not patchy. 
It's long wearing. It looks great. It feels good on the lips. I don't have to like layer it up to make it opaque. I really love tiramisu. But on the other hand, I wore the shade Courant Jam yesterday. It was patchy. It cracked off. It was quite difficult and annoying to wear. So I don't really like this purple one, but I love the nude one called Tiramisu and would recommend this one. But this purple one didn't work out. So my hypothesis is that the lighter colors are going to be better than the darker colors from this specific brand, Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors. So these are the only two that I've tried out though, but that's how I feel about these two shades. I still have four more shades to try out that I picked up. So I still need to try out the shade Cinnamon Toast, which I believe is probably going to be one of my favorites because it is a nude. Still need to try out Molten Chocolate Cake, which I've heard excellent things about this one too. It's a brown. Still need to try out Strawberry Crumble, which is like kind of like that Karat Jam. It's kind of dark, but still bright. And lastly, the Red Velvet Cake, which I'm super excited to try out because I love reds. So I'll let you know what I think about those four once I actually try them off. But that's just that specific formula of liquid lipstick I want to tell you guys about. Next, I tried out, which I have tried out one of these before. It's the Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks. I love these. I think these are amazing lipsticks. They're opaque. They're very lightweight on the lips. Like, you don't really feel them. And, like, one swipe is full color payoff. And they're, like, $1.99, I believe, or $2.99. Very inexpensive. Um, the lip cream, the sweet creams, I think are $5.99, I believe, or $4.99. They're, they're not ultra expensive, but when you buy in bulk like I did it, you're like, oh, I just spent a lot of money on lipstick, but I love lipstick, lipsticks. And the shade that I love and like is my new favorite nude lipstick is called Matte Frappuccino. I have worn this and it is beautiful. I'll show you all the color. And it smells really good. Beautiful. I also have the shade Matte Bear, which is what um, my roommate Elizabeth from college wore on her recital day. And I also like that color as well, but I need a brown lip liner with that one. This one, no lip liner needed. Same with the Tiramisu lip cream. I did use a brown lip liner with it. So yeah, love this lipstick. And I think I'm going to try out another one of those colors today in the Modern Matte Lipsticks. And I think I'm going to try out this shade called Matte Caliente. It's super bright. It's orange. And I love a good orange look, but I haven't really found one that truly, truly works for me. That doesn't look kind of crazy. So I'm hoping that with my new brown lip liners I have, we can make this one work. So that's the color I'm going to put on today. So the brown lip liner I'm going to use is from NYX and it's in the shade Espresso. So this is like the dark, dark brown one. I have a like medium tone brown and then super dark brown. This is the darker brown one. So I'm going to line my lips. Actually, let me finish this coffee real quick. Oh no, my eyelids are creasing a little bit. My eyelids have been creasing as of late. I don't know what that's all about, but I hope it stops. And I'm also getting a little bit more wrinkles under my eyes. <laughs> I'm getting old. Okay. I love the lip pencils from NYX. They're inexpensive and they work really well. They glide on so easy for me. Like, just look at that. They glide on so nice. And I'm not gonna fill my lip in all the way, but I'm gonna do it like halfway.
Side note, yesterday that uh, my vice principal, the vice principal of preschool through second grade, or child development through second grade, told me that I do a phenomenal job in the classroom and she really made me feel good about myself, even though I was having the crappiest day ever. So shout out to her. You're the real MVP. May God bless you, continue to bless you, and uh, just, just so I hope she gets some rest this weekend. Our VP, one of our VPs, she's pregnant with twins. So y'all pray for her. She's awesome. Shout out to you. All right, so this lipstick, see my mind is literally all over the place. <laughs> it's not that my lips are aligned. We're gonna go on with this lipstick, Matte Caliente. Oh. Oh. So the brown lip liner is really toning it down. A lot. Oh, I kind of want to be a little bit more bright than this. So I know next time I need to use less lip liner. Maybe apply the lip liner after I put this on. But regardless, I do think this is a beautiful orange shade. Goes really well with the eyes, but it's not as bright as I want. It's not as summer. This looks more like fall. But you know what? I have an idea. Yeah, that brown lip liner really like made it not as bright. So we're gonna put a little bit brighter orange over top from Milani, but I do like this color. And I love this lipstick formula. The Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks are amazing. Love them, no complaints. All right, so let's find that Milani lipstick. In the shade Sweet Nectar, which is a super bright orange. Let's see if we can brighten this up a little bit for summer. There we go. Really focusing like right here. Okay, we kind of have a little bit of an ombre fit going on. So yeah, I really like that. That's really pretty. And the Milani is like a cream formula, so they're really moisturizing, so it makes it a little bit less dry. And gives the lips a little bit of a sheen. But I think this look came out really nice. Like I said, you can probably do this in 20 minutes. I took 55 just because I was talking and my brain is all over the place, but... I like it. Now I'm just going to throw on some ratchet clothes. Literally, I'm not even going to try and look cute to go pick up a box of hair dye so that I can dye my hair black. I'm really excited to have really dark hair and like seeing myself with this makeup look and then imagining that my hair is like pitch black. It just makes me feel really happy. And I think once I get my hair straightened, I think I'm going to straighten it again next year. Not this year. I don't want to do any straightening this year. I think I'm gonna straighten my hair every other year just because I'm terrified of heat damage uh, and I don't want to do that to myself. <clears throat> so next year, maybe, I'm trying to think when next year. What month? I don't know yet, but next year. I'll straighten my hair and probably dye it again. I'll probably dye my hair once a year, black, just to keep it super dark but I think it's gonna be so pretty my hair has grown my hair is like here now we are past the collarbone and we're like a couple inches from armpit length I don't know how far down it goes in the back but that's the thing I'm gonna say I'm three inches from armpit length so hopefully I'll have armpit length hair by the time I straighten it my goal is to get to belly button length when my hair is stretched in its natural state. So not even straight, but stretched in the natural state touches my belly button. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think about this lip color. I think it is beautiful shade of orange for deeper skin. 
And I love the way the foundation is looking. Let me know what you think about the foundation, the shade of the foundation. What do you think? And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, YouTube.